my channel Alpha Basics, a channel for competitive exams. In my channel, you will get lots of questions dealing with your competition oriented questions. Lots of mathematical reasoning questions, number puzzle, number uh, analogy, symbol substitution, time and distance, time and work, even speed distance problem, uh, various series problem. So regularly you will get uh, long and short videos. So do watch, you will get lots of help from my channel. You have to look the first this portion of the question. You have to find the solution how you can derive 66 out of 23. And uh, when uh, you uh, you have got this uh, solution of this portion, we will implement the same process in order to get the answer. So before I solve, do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel Alpha Basics. So we will uh, consider this one 23 and we will try to get 66 out of it. Now, see, uh, if we will uh, take 23 and uh, if you will multiply it with 3, so we will come closer to this number. So, this is 69 and now you we have to subtract 3 in order to get 66. So, this process we will adapt over here in order to get the answer. So, what we have to do, we will pick 72 and multiply it with 3. So, it comes to 216. Then we have to subtract 3. So, this is 213. So, 213 is the answer. Option B. Okay, next question 22 is to 506 is equal to 27 is to what? We have to find out this one and the four options are given. Okay, so we will try to derive 506 from 22. So we will consider this 22. Now as this 506 is very uh, greater than 22. So uh, how we can uh, come closer to this 506? You have to multiply 22 into 22. We will try out. 22 into 22 is 484. Now. Uh, let us check if we will add 22 to the uh, result of the multiplication we have come 484 so we will add this is 6 0 and this is 5 so we are getting the result which is uh, given over here 506 so we have to implement the same process so what we have to do we will multiply 27 into 27 or rather 27 square so 27 into 27 is 729 and then what we have to do we have we here we have a square or multiply 22 into 22 and added this 22 itself over here so 27 into 27 that means we have to add 27 over here so if we will add so this comes to 756 so this is the answer option c now, this is a question of number analogy where uh, 9 is to 80 is equal to 100 is to we need to find out this number and the four options are given. Now, as I have told in my earlier videos also in this type of uh, problem, how we solve it, we first of all, we have to find out uh, relation between these two numbers, how we can derive 80 from 9 and if we are able to uh, get that uh, method then we will implement uh, from here to here to get the answer so how we can get 80 from 9 what are the options so see if we will consider a 9 and uh, we will multiply 9 into 9 so that means we are squaring it so 9 into 9 is 81 okay now 80 is there so what we need to do we need to subtract 1 from it so we are getting 80 so that means we have to follow same process in order to get the answer so what we have to do we have to square 100 that means 100 into 100 so 100 into 100 means you count the zeros 1 2 3 and 4 now you have to subtract minus 1 from it so what will be the answer nine nine four nines so this is the answer so answer is option c next question 
11 is to 38 is equal to 13 is to we need to find out this number and the four options are given now same first of all we will try to uh, get 38 out of 11 okay and then we will implement the same process in order to get the answer so we will consider 11 and we will try how we can get 38 so uh, in the table of uh, 11 if we will multiply 11 into 3 it comes to 33 and how we can get 38 by adding 5 so that means this is we are getting 38 we will implement the same process to get the answer so 13 what we have to do we have to multiply with 3 so 13 into 3 is 39 and then we have to add 5 so 13 plus 39 plus 5 is 44 so 44 is the answer option b in next question 3 is to 18 is equal to 13 is to what we need to find out this number and the four options are given so as usual we will try to derive 18 out of 3 and then we will implement the same process in order to get the answer so uh, this one is very easy how we can uh, get 18 out of 3 we will consider 3 so if we will multiply with 6 so 3 into 6 is 18 so this is very easy so we will consider this 13 and what we have to do we have to multiply it with 6 so 13 into 6 is 78 so 78 is the answer option b that's all for today hope you have understood thanks for watching